Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to High Risk Fitness. I'll plan to do one of these video training logs every week, provided I can remember to bring my camera to the gym and my schedule stays consistent. This week, some lifts are missing because of time constraints. I was only able to train four of my five usual sessions and forgot the camera for one of them, so this is what I got. All right, so Monday, first up was a heavy triple bench press at 325. This was five pounds heavier than last week's heavy triple, and my bench is coming back nicely after having taken a couple months off because of a hand injury. Next week, I'll go 330 or 335, depending on how I'm feeling. My goal is to be back to a 405 bench as soon as possible, and it's looking like that's right on the horizon. Next up, we've got speed bench, five sets of three at 225 with green bands. I really like doing this speed work on bench as back off sets, and 225 is about the right percentage for this. Next week, I'll plan on keeping the band set up the same and simply adding five pounds to the bar for an even 230. Next, we've got Swiss bar shoulder press, four sets of eight at 165. I'm assuming here that every implement is 45 pounds just to make the bar math easier for me. It doesn't matter what it actually weighs. What matters is that it's consistent as a reference point. The focus on these today was to do a dead stop at the bottom of each rep to develop power from a complete stop. The next movement was polycoon raises, a.k.a. Sir Charles lateral raises, three sets of 10 with 25 pounds in each hand. These are a staple of mine and my favorite isolation movement for the delts as they're done very strictly and incorporate a little bit of an isometric hold something I'm very fond of in shoulder training. After the Sir Charles raises, I did a set of single arm raises, max repetitions on each arm with a 27 and a half pound dumbbell. I got 20 on each arm. The left arm was a lot easier because that shoulder's a little bit stronger for some reason. On the right side, I had to get a little loose with my form in the last five reps, but I got them done. All right, next we've got floor laying pause dumbbell flies with light band resistance. These were a bit awkward to set up, but felt great once I got them moving. I believe I went with uh, 40 pound dumbbells with the green band for three sets of 15. The key here was keeping a consistent degree of elbow bend and remembering not to let my arm bend more to compensate for fatigue. Moving on, I put six plates on the sled and did a rear delt face pull like movement across the turf for four total sets. This is a great way to connect the power of the hips to the shoulders, and I enjoy doing a productive movement like this, although there certainly are easier ways to train rear delts. I finished this session with two max rep sets of seated dumbbell shoulder presses with 55s, and uh, I got 23 reps on the first set and then 20 on the second. This is a great way just to uh, you know finish up the shoulders, get a pump, and uh, work on my endurance with these pressing movements unfortunately i wasn't able to film tuesday's session because i forgot my nice camera at home and didn't want to ruin the quality of the video i'm more into the habit of grabbing it on the way out the door now so hopefully i'll remember in the future all right moving on to wednesday's session i started off by working up to a heavy back squat triple at 385 this was definitely a lot easier than i anticipated but like my bench i'm easing back into my working loads uh, that I left off with before my hand injury. For those two months, I hardly trained at all, let alone with the barbell. So the squats went well, and next week I'll probably go up 15 or 20 pounds for this set of three. Okay, for my back off sets, I did five sets of three with 290 pounds, just above 75% of the heavy triple weight of 385. The focus here was speed, which for me never really looks fast. Being so tall and having such long legs, I've got a lot of distance to travel, but for me, this was a good speed. Next, I pushed the sled with eight plates for four sets of about 80 feet. This was considerably easier than eight plates at the last gym that I trained at, where just half of this distance was a real grind. Every turf setup has more or less friction than another, but I got a great conditioning stimulus out of pushing at this speed, so next week, I'll go up and wait a bit and do the same number of sets and distance. This next one was new for me. I guess we'll call these uh, slant board foam roller hack squats. I wanted something to directly hit the quads without a hack squat machine and these did the trick. I used two 30 pound kettlebells and went as low as I felt I could. The foam roller was moving around and kept sliding further up my back every rep, which made it feel like I couldn't get more depth, but I still got a great quad pump out of these. I did three sets of 10 on these. Next week, I think I'll keep the weight the same and bump up to 15 reps per set now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with the movement. 
By this point, I was pretty smoked and had planned on a few sets of Zercher carries, but only had enough mental energy for one, despite the weight on this feeling pretty light. This axle bar must weigh around 65 pounds by itself, but again, for the sake of barbell math, I'll just call this 225. I had been in the gym for a couple hours at this point and was ready to head home and eat, so one quick top set and I was out. Next week, I'll do the same weight for three full sets and maybe find a way to where I don't have to turn out of the rack. It may be time to just pick the weight up from the floor, which is, you know, a skill in itself. I didn't train on Thursday due to a little stomach bug, and I decided to stay home and rest up. Friday session ended up being a little mashup of what I had planned for Thursday and Friday and looked like this. Started with three cluster sets of close grip two board press, consisting of three, three, and three reps per mini set with 10 seconds between each mini set. I rested about two minutes between each full set. And uh, cluster sets are great because they allow you to complete a larger amount of total reps per set than you would if you didn't take those short breaks. So this is a similar uh, method to the rest pause sets, which are also something that I incorporate into my training very frequently. I use 295 for these. Next, I did some single arm dumbbell shoulder presses. The goal was three sets of eight, but I had to fish around a bit for the right weight. The first set I used 80, which was too light. Then I moved to 90 and only got five reps per arm. So I settled on 85 for the final set, and that was about right. Next week, I'll bump up one rep on each arm, uh, but keep the weight at 85. Sorry for the bad camera angle on these. I forgot I'm a giraffe. All right, moving on. I went with a seated cable fly. Four sets of 10 at the 42 pin on this cable machine. I did these nice and controlled, focusing as much as I could on my chest working. These didn't feel too tough. Uh, so next week, I'm probably going to bump it up to 15 reps per set. All right, next was a superset of 15 face-down incline rear delt flies, coupled with eight dumbbell one-and-a-half hammer curls. I used 30s in the flies and 40s for the hammer curls. This was a great little superset, but I got a little too distracted and rested a little bit too long between sets. In the end, I did four sets of each total. Again, my camera skills were a bit lacking here on the hammer curls, but you can see how these are done. The final bicep movement was an incline dumbbell curl for five sets of 10 with 30s. I really like tucking the elbows in on this one and controlling the eccentric a lot. Both of these focuses really direct the strain on the biceps perfectly for me, and uh, they're a game changer in this movement. To finish this day up, I did three sets of 10 with the ab wheel. The focus on these is one, keeping the pelvis tucked in to direct all the effort on the abs themselves, and two, to think of pulling back with the knees, which really puts a lot of emphasis on the lower abdominal muscles. Like I said before, this week's training was a bit disordered. I didn't train uh, today either, which is Saturday. So next week, I'll try to be more consistent with the training and filming, and I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' feedback. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thanks again, and I appreciate your support.